flow compression that's the topic for today we're going to be talking about reasons why your small engine may have low compression and compression is important it's essential besides uh, gas and that spark if there's no compression your engine won't run properly in some cases it's not even going to start and you need about 90 psi and some engines run below that but that's an ideal um, pressure you want 90 psi or up all right so we're going to start off with the first reason why you might have low compression and that's a worn out piston ring okay a lot of times the piston ring becomes worn out or even fused um, in the piston and what it does is those rings expand so that you can have good compression but if it's worn out or damaged air can escape likewise a scored piston which is the next thing um, a lot of times there's carbon deposits or foreign objects that get into that cylinder head and it can cause the piston to have uh, deformities or scratches or damage and most likely if that happens you're gonna have to in uh, inspect that uh, cylinder wall but a good way to check it out quick is to remove that muffler or carburetor and do a little inspection to see if there's any fused um, piston rings or any damage to that piston and if you're not too sure I would say take off the whole cylinder head Take a look at that piston if you see anything damaged i would suggest replacing the whole entire piston and there are kits online that comes with the piston and the rings already together and then next inspect the cylinder walls to see if it's been damaged if it's been damaged you might have to replace the whole head you know cylinder pistons everything the next reason why you might have low compression is just worn worn out parts loose parts you know if you have a lot of excess oil you can take a look and see or you should take a look and see if there's any kind of cracks or if the gasket has been uh, if it's leaking from the gasket in that case you'd have to remove the cylinder head and then we seal the gasket or tighten the parts you know so it could be several different things and one of the main ways you can find out if you have low compression just without a compression tester is just by pulling that starter so this one i've removed the spark plug for the demonstration but a lot of times you know it's a dead giveaway if you're pulling and it goes very easily i'm going to put this spark plug back in there so you can tell see the difference if you if you have good compression you should have a hard time pulling that Cord. I'm gonna hear a popping song. Yeah, so that, that's about it. Those are a few things you can look for and troubleshoot at home before you decide to take it to the repair shop or toss it in the trash. Because if you take it to a repair shop, you might end up paying the price of a brand new weed walker just to replace that whole head. If you can do it yourself, like I said, there are kits online that you can use. If it's not worth it, I'd say just uh, sell it for what you can and just get a new uh, weed whacker because the repair process takes a little bit of knowledge to replace a whole piston head.